how to mix trap vocals in any door. What is that? Firstly, I'd just like to thank you for um, seeking out the knowledge actively, you know what I mean? We've got a whole community on YouTube of people uh, sharing their tips and tricks and I think it's beautiful that, uh, you know what I mean, uh, we're out seeking the knowledge for ourselves because it is really beautiful that we actually have access to all of this technology. So shout out to you and let's get into it. Okay, so now we'll be getting into the uh, tutorial part of this video. Uh, the first thing I want to show, uh, oh, oh, let me just play the track. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up, count it up, yeah, make it whip, diamonds dance, out in France, make it flip, first class, take a chance, then I did blue cheese, yeah, count it up, blue cheese, yeah, make it flip. In the kitchen, water whip, whip, whip. Blue cheese, yeah, make it flip hey. This shit a test, but I swear Alright, so there we go um, now, you know what I mean? I always get this question on Instagram is, is how do you really full up your vocal sound? So it sounds full, it sounds, um, you know, almost like a trap choir You know what I mean? So what you want to do is you want to sequence your vocals You want to plan a strategy, you know what I mean? So my strategy that, that has been working for me is to record one main vocal, um, record a double take on top of that, right? So basically like a ghost layer, which you can just like drop in level. It just adds a bit of diversity to the, the, the main vocal itself. And then what you want to do is, is record an extra two um, takes, which you can then sing a bit differently, rap a bit differently, just so you can kind of get a wider sound, right? So those are those two channels right there, these two at the bottom, left um, double, right double. Um, and then what you can also do is use the H3000 trick. I have done a video on this, uh, but basically we are doing uh, what is happening in this plugin, but manually. So as you can see right there, the left is pitched 1%, the right is pitched 1%. So what I do is I duplicate this uh, chorus that I have right here, the main vocal. So it ends up looking like this and like this. And then what I do is I pan them to uh, two different channels, right? And pan them hard left and right. So there you go, those are those two. But basically the trick is to then pitch them, right? As you saw with that other plugin, I pitch one 12% um, up and one 12% down. And really that just creates a nice, uh, fuller, richer vocal sound. So if I kind of solo that, um, if I just solo the vocal in itself. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up, count it up. Yeah, make it whip, diamonds dance, out in France, make it flip, first class, take a chance, then I dip. You know, you know what I mean? It's, it's creating a really nice full sound. And if I actually solo all of the vocals, just so you can hear the difference. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up, count it up. Yeah, make it whip, diamonds dance, out in France, make it flip, first class. We can end up with a really nice and wide um, vocal sound. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Now let's get through the main vocal chain because I know that's the reason you're here. So what I pretty much do is Obviously, I'll be recording with Auto-Tune, so these are the settings that I'm using right here. You can just take a look at those, uh, you, you know what I mean? You could generally, I think I had them set before to about 62 Humanize, 3 Retune, and then I had this at about 24, if I remember. And this gives you a way more uh, corporate sound, let's call it. So I had it more of a rougher kind of, you know, raw Auto-Tune sound. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up. Count it up, yeah, make it whip, diamonds dance, out of France, make it flip, first class, take a chance, then I did blue cheese, yeah, count it up. So yeah, I feel that if you have been using autotune for a long time, you can start to experiment with uh, getting less of an autotune sound and using it more as a feeling effect uh, instead of more of like a upfront, you know, T-Pain sound. You know what I mean? Uh, really just utilize autotune and make it yours. I think that's the most important thing um, when using autotune. So the next thing I do, I, I just added this ready because I was too lazy to kind of uh, manually go through this whole uh, vocal and tweak each little bit that was too loud or too soft. So you can kind of see, you can find a target level that you like, an average level, and then this plugin will actually um, keep that vocal at that level. So if it's too soft, it'll pull it up. If it's too loud, it'll limit it pretty much. So just check out here. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up. Count it up, yeah, make it whip. So yeah, that's important in getting a uh, very kind of finished vocal sound, you know what I mean? It's leveling it before even compressing it and all that. Uh, I chose to bypass the de in this instant. Uh, you see over here, 
I have all these free alternatives, so I'll kind of skip between each one. But yeah, you've got this DS if you need it. Um, I prefer the DS before actually processing anything. I think it's just better to do that to kind of deal with the issues uh, before starting to really mix. So the next thing I do is the SSL by Waves. But if you do not have any Waves plugins, you can download the Smack Labs Logic Channel. I think they even have an AAX version of this. Uh, this is a VST 64 bit. And uh, it's, it sounds really good uh, for something free, you know what I mean? Free doesn't have to mean bad, so you can use either or. I just prefer this one because it has the uh, analog mode, which I quite like a little bit. Maybe it does something, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But yeah, pretty much the theory here is I'm, I'm high passing, so I'm getting rid of any of the bass in the vocal. I am getting rid of, of, of a bit of the higher treble. I don't really want all of it, but I want some of it. Um, I feel that all of it makes the vocal a bit too aggressive, as you can see right here. I've actually gotten rid of this if I just kind of play this for you with the sound up. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up. You know what I mean? If, if I had left this um, up, it goes for more of a Migo type sound. But uh, just kind of getting rid of that nastiness if I actually boost this. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up. And if you can hear that sound, your hearing is still intact. If not, your hearing is gone. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of sculpting uh, low shelf here around 420 just to kind of get rid of the bass. So if I bypass this, you can hear how much more bassy and full the vocal becomes. But I don't really want that in this type of song because, you know, we're going for trap soul right here. We want the, the bass to be the, 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 the uh, cornerstone or keystone of the track. So let me just play this without. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up. You know what I mean? It's really just allowing our ear to focus on um, the top end of the vocal and the mid range of the vocal. I'm also doing a little 2 dB cut around uh, 500 hertz, I guess. Uh, and yeah, just to kind of, you know, uh, clean up the vocal a little bit. So that's clean up EQ. The next thing I do is a massage type um, uh, compressor. And you know, the cool thing about the Waves uh, series, the C6 and C4, is you're really able to, FabFilter also make great multiband um, compressors and EQs, but you can really just kind of find all the spots that you wanna compress. So a free alternative obviously is your stock multiband compressor. I'm sure there are a few uh, cool uh, ones similar to the C6, but if I disable it. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze, diamond wrist, stack it up. Count it up, yeah, make it whip, diamonds dance, out in France, make it flip, first class. You know what I mean? It's it's taming that bass again, it's, it's kind of getting rid of the harsh frequencies. And then what I also do a little trick is to boost uh, the top end, but then also compress it at the same time. So the vocal stays bright, but it's also tamed. So that's what I'm doing right there, won't uh, speak any much more on that. Uh, the next thing I do, you know, I feel that if you own a cheaper condenser microphone, my microphone is, is like $500, that is pretty expensive. But once you start getting into like the $1,000 range, um, you know, microphones become a lot more detailed. I feel that uh, cheaper microphones don't have that, that, you know, detail that you may be seeking. So what I like to do is kind of just get really in depth with the um, EQ and oh, some PayPal orders, that's awesome. Um, you know, just kind of get in depth there and, and just warm up the vocal a bit more. As you can see, they're boosting around there, around 170, 600, and they're getting a bit of uh, intelligibility and just cutting the things I don't want. So if I actually disable that, you won't really hear too much, but it really details the vocal. Let me get to a different spot of this song. First class, take a chance, then I did blue cheese, yeah, count it up. Very slight, very slight, uh, with the headphones maybe you can hear. But yeah, the next thing I do is a uh, Bricacity, uh, Bricacity reverb. And um, you know, that is a very famous reverb within the modern um, mixing world. People use these on snares. Basically, I'll pop one on the screen right there. It, it is a device that, um, you know, has a reverb on it or lots of reverb presets on it that are, are basically really mathematically um, accurate sounding reverbs. Probably the best sounding reverb out of it is the Bricacity uh, M7. I'll just insert a little piece of the guy talking about it. This is Sunset Chamber. This is Sunset Chamber. This is the Sunset Chamber. Yeah. And yeah, you can kind of uh, understand what this guy's on. So what I do is, uh, and I'll, I'll provide a download link. There's some guys who actually sampled every single preset in Bukasi, or I guess a lot of them. And. Uh, you know what I mean? You can load all these uh, files up, these convolution sounds within a Convolver reverb. Uh, your, your stock door should have one. Uh, Waves IR1 is a Convolver as well, but really it samples the reverb and then allows you to use that reverb. So if I boost this. 
first class take a chance and i'm using this one is really just to create a bit of ambience and divide the vocal between the beat uh, it just adds that little bit of 3d sound uh, so the next thing i do would be just some modulation uh barry stereo separated uh, spread on my bed is so amazing h3000 uh famous you know from uh, michael jackson you know all of the the 80s the really good and rich and lush sounding 80s songs had um your vocal going through here you know what i mean so this is what we're doing uh if i disable these two effects per se uh you can kind of hear how much more harsh and non 3d the vocal becomes First class, take a chance, then I dare blow cheese, yeah, count it all. First class, take a chance, then I dare blow cheese. Very subtle, but wow, it sounds good. And this one, I don't know if you need this specifically, but uh, generally when I sing and rap, I don't always emphasize the beginnings of words so things can become a little drowny sounding you know what i mean and you don't want to over eq just to kind of uh make up for bad performance so what i tend to do is use a expander which is uh pretty much the opposite of a compressor but what it'll do is it'll make the softer parts louder so i use that just to kind of pop the vocal a bit more if i disable that yeah blue cheese sunny breeze so just listen to the way i say blue cheese right yeah blue cheese so it's not really like blue cheese. So if I kind of turn this on. Yeah, blue cheese, sunny breeze. So kind of, I don't know, it does a little bit of, of magic right there. So you can kind of copy these settings. Um, This is opposite compression, Um, but yeah. And then a little bit of L1 just to kind of finalize the vocal. And that's pretty much all we're doing on the main. I am doing a bit of stereo spreading, you know what I mean? Just to spread the reverb a bit, a bit of mid side EQ to get rid of um most of the modulation. I just want the top end of that reverb really. Um, and then just kind of finalize the mono section of the vocal. Uh, but yeah, you know, free free alternatives, I guess, would be all of these. Um, for H3000, you can use any flanger you'd like. Um, and yeah, so background vocals, I'm not doing too much, you know, just a bit of EQ here and there. Doubles, as you can see, I'm just getting rid of the lower bass. Not too much, you know, just a little bit of auto-tune as well. Um, you know, on those pitch doubles, nothing at all, because obviously I had... Um, copied the main vocal with the effects on so they are already embedded in there so yeah sends all i'm doing to get the, that cool delay sound if you kind of hear here um all i'm really using is a fruity delay 2 with the panomatic um and then for the reverb i'm just using the air reverb you can use any reverb you like i'm actually blending two reverbs together uh because that's just something i've been playing around with h3000 send if i turn this up you can kind of hear how uh flangey the vocal becomes blue cheese yeah count it all blue cheese yeah make it flip just adding a bit more 3d width as i say and then a bit of uh, parallel compression um parallel compression just to really just glue um a part of the vocal together so i'm actually sending uh you know what i mean the main vocal to all these things right here but then i use this just to kind of get a nasty mono sound just to kind of make sure that on cell phones the vocal will be heard so if you look, look at this meter you'll see how hard i'm crushing blue cheese yeah count it up blue cheese yeah make it flip it just adds a bit of aggression to the vocal um, but yeah that's pretty much all i can tell you if you are uh, going to purchase this template record at minus 12 db max um the cool thing about this if you've stuck around for the whole video if you do decide to purchase this template it will be a bit more expensive than usual but um i will be providing tech support for you pretty much uh, forever ready as long as it's reasonable um you can ask as many questions as you want i'll help you source plugins uh because i really love um putting the power in your hands you know what i mean i think it's so amazing that uh we we have a whole studio within our our computer you know what i mean and, and you can utilize all these plugins the right way and get a really fat sounding um vocal as well as a mix so yeah you know what i mean it is your boy farai uh purchase link in the description i will be doing a template as well with pretty much the same plugins um you know obviously just replacing the stock ones with um the pro tools ones i don't use any other door other than pro tools and, and, and fl studio i really like working in fl studio it's just so versatile uh but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Uh, DM me on Instagram if you've got any questions. Check the link in the um, description. Some free presets as well. I'll give one or two of these away. Uh, so you can kind of get started on your mix. But yeah, it is your boy Fry signing out. Peace.